Many times here on the Cow Calf Corner, we talk about the importance of body condition at different times of the year, whether it be for adult cows or for replacement heifers. I thought on today's show, we'd take some time to remind everybody about the body condition scoring system that we use as both researchers and ranchers when we're evaluating the fatness of cattle and uh, what that importance would be in terms of their productivity. We use a one through nine body condition scoring system, and it's uh, meant to cover all of the biological possibilities of beef cattle that you might see out here on, on ranches, with one being the most emaciated, thin animal that you can ever imagine, down to nine being a, a very, very obese cow. Most of the cattle that we work with in our uh, ranches will be uh, in the neighborhood of three through eight, and quite frankly, we could probably narrow it down to 80, 85% of the cattle will fall in the middle scores of four, five, and six. I think that's the three scores we really want to zero in on. If we can determine what a four is, what a five is, and what a six uh, body condition score cow is, then we can tell uh, pretty much what changes we need to make and what kind of production to expect out of those cattle. How do we tell the difference between a four and a five and a six? I think we want to be, remember that we're looking for the fatness, the fat that lies between the skeletal system and the hide. And one of the key areas that I would look at is along the edge of the loin, right in front of the hook bone. If you look at this particular graphic, you can see a, a drawing of those vertebrae that point out towards you, kind of like uh, flat fingers. And if the cow is real thin, a body condition score four or less, then the hide will wrap in around those vertebrae to where you can uh, visually identify them as you look at her from the side. Also, you'll probably be able to see more than two ribs uh, showing up in the last part of the rib cage. As we get to the body condition score five cow, then that uh, tends to disappear and we can only see about the last two ribs of the rib cage. Let's look now at some examples. Here's a body condition score four cow. A picture taken in the winter time where she has a, a pretty heavy winter hair coat. And that reminds us that we have to be able to identify these different scores even when these cattle have substantial hair to look through. The next picture shows a body condition score five cow. Now, as we would look along the edge of the loin and the rib cage, it's smoother. And uh, if she had a summer hair coat, we might be able to see the outline of the last couple of ribs. As we go to the body condition score six, this two-year-old heifer looks bloomy to us. She's smooth. There's certainly no evidence of those vertebrae pointing out towards us along the edge of the loin, and the rib cage is completely covered. The importance of body condition scores it really shows up when we take a look at what happens if they're in different body condition scores at calving. Lots of research has been done through the years on this particular subject, and it can be summarized with this particular chart. The cows that are a little too thin, those that body condition score four or less, tended to reproduce at a lower level, on the average about 60% in a defined 60 to 75 day breeding season. Cows that were in a body condition score five did better. In a body con and they reproduced it in the neighborhood of about 80% in terms of reproduction. Once we got to those in the body condition score six category, then we got nearly all of the studies showing above 90% in terms of rebreeding during that defined breeding season. That's why body condition score at calving is so very, very important. I thought it would be worth our time to take a look at what the different body condition scores are and what it means. So as we talk about it on future cow-calf corners, you'll have a better idea of what these mean. And when you go out and look at your cattle this winter, you may need to make some adjustments to make sure that most of these adult cows are in a body condition score of at least a five, approaching a six, to get the best rebreeding re performance that you can expect for those cows and a good calf crop the following year. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SunUp's Cow-Calf Corner. <music>